Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you really quickly how to load an SPL housing. Um, first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have the eye cap off of the camera as well as the filter so that it doesn't scratch the dome. Today I'm gonna to load up a 7D Mark II with a 10 to 22. And then we also have uh, this new 7D Mark II housing that has a flash port um, built in. So we've got the 270EX flash. First thing we wanna do is plug your cables in so that this two stage trigger down here is gonna work for you. Next thing you want to do is make sure that all your controls are out of the way. So you can see here that these controls move in and out. This will allow you to put the camera into the housing a lot easier. Um, they have to be out of the way for you to put the camera inside. Make sure the camera's on. Um, if your housing doesn't have an on-off feature, uh, a lot of times you put it in there, load it up, and you realize the camera's off. All right, so putting the camera into the housing, um, you want to pay close attention to these strap hooks on the cannons because inside the housing, they're basically held in. By these, uh, by these mounts here. So make sure that your quick release cable is out of the way. Slide it underneath the strap hooks until it's flush. Then you want to take your dome port, make sure all the cables are inside the housing all the way. Make sure that there's no sand on your O-rings and that they've been lubed up properly. So carefully place the port over the lens. And be careful not to force anything because the inside of the actual dome itself is very sensitive. So once you have the dome on, make sure everything is seated properly. And with these wing nuts, you wanna apply these on opposite sides so that you get equal pressure on the plate. A small seal start to form. You wanna stop and then place the rest of the wing nuts on the housing. And then you wanna always put these on on opposite sides until you have all the wing nuts on. So as soon as you have all the wing nuts on, you're gonna see a small seal start to form around the entire housing. You don't wanna over tighten the housing because it can warp the plate and it can relieve pressure in other areas, causing the housing to leak. Once you see the seal around the entire O-ring, you wanna turn every wing nut another quarter turn and you're good to go. Hi, my name is Austin and this is Hawaii Camera. Yeah.